Hey everybody, Jesse here with 3 Prong Gaming, and today's episode, episode 1 in the RTS tutorial, is very basic. We need to get some things set up, we need to start our project, and we need to do some cleanup work in there before we really do any coding. So I figured let's go ahead and do it now instead of tacking on to another episode where we put together some blueprints and things like that. Um, it'll just be a whole lot easier. So if you're following along, then let's go ahead and get this thing started here. We are in the project browser, select new project. Let's go ahead and we're going to do the top down. Make sure desktop and console selected. We'll pick maximum quality. And I'm going to go ahead and enable starter content here because there's going to be some materials and, and a few meshes uh, that we're going to probably go ahead and use in there, at least for now. Make sure your folder is correct for wherever you save your projects. And I am going to name mine RTS underscore tutorial and let's go ahead and create this project now while it's creating I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that uh, the lessons that you're gonna learn in this series whether you're following along uh, exactly like we're doing here in the tutorial or if you're trying to adapt it to your own project you should be able to easily adapt the project to your own needs um, it's not that hard. Just go ahead and uh, if you've got any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll do what I can to try to help you out if you're not doing something exactly like this. So let's go ahead. We need to do some cleanup. Uh, pretty much none of this we need to use. Then you're saying, well, why'd we do it? Well, it makes it a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and uh, select all these cubes. Hit delete. Delete all those. Um, let's go ahead and delete. Where is... Ah, there we are. Let's get rid of all the floor and the walls. Press delete. Let's get rid of, we don't need the player character. Let's go ahead and get him out of there. Um, nav mesh volume. Let's go ahead and delete that. We'll leave the folder in there for now. Get rid of the abstract nav data, the template label recast nav mesh those will come when we create our new nav mesh we just don't need them for right now we'll create our own and light mass importance volume we'll go ahead and get rid of that we'll make our own as well uh, post process volume we'll get rid of that one save these light source in the skylight for now uh, arena geometry we can get rid of that folder whereas obstacles we'll get rid of obstacles folder save the navigation we've got the lighting render effects go ahead and leave those in there and the sky sphere we'll talk about that a little bit later but just go ahead and leave it in there for now so let's go ahead and click the landscape button here we're going to leave all these settings the same for right now we're just uh, all we need is a test world we're going to do landscape um, it's a little easier than than doing the uh, uh, mesh so but we do this is part of the reason why we wanted the uh, starter pack Let's give ourselves a grass texture. It just looks a little bit better than the gray and black checkerboard. And yeah, leave all these settings the same. Create new, and then just hit create. There we go. Let's go ahead and get off of the landscape tab so we don't accidentally build something we don't need to build. Now we need to... We're not going to build our nav mesh volume yet. It'll just take a little bit of time for it to... Uh, render out and until we get our AI system we don't need that right now but we do need a light importance volume let's go ahead and take that drag that in there it doesn't matter where uh, let's put it zero 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 uh, scale it up here a little bit all right grab all three axes for now let's go ahead and scale it up that should be good enough W, get it up here a little bit. Make sure that just below the edge there for the bottom line. And now let's just grab it against the X and a Y and just scale it. We need this one to be approximately the size of the world. It doesn't have to be exact. We're really not going to end up using this whole world. We probably could have made the landscape a little bit smaller, uh, but it's not a big deal. It gives us some space to work with. And uh, so, yeah, that looks about right. We'll go ahead and leave that there. Cool. So now we can go ahead and build our lighting and get rid of all these lines and go ahead and click. Well, before we build it, let's just go ahead and press Control S 
Let's save it. Always important, save, save, save. It's not hard to press Control A S, save it at any point so you don't have any mistakes. Editor does crash on occasion. So go ahead and click build. Let's get that going here. All right, now we're all built up. So let's go ahead and clean some more things up. Yeah, like I said, this is pretty much all this is gonna be is getting some things set up here. So click and drag your light mass. Let's go ahead and throw it into your lighting folder there like that. Uh, tries to keep everything organized. Eventually, we'll leave the navigation folder there because we will eventually be using that. And I thought we got rid of the recast nav mesh. Let's go ahead and delete that. Next, um, Control S. Let's save it again. Save it, save it, save it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead, you know what, and let's rename this F2 uh, RTS Tutorial. Do that, let everything reset itself to the new name, save itself. Okay. Compile the shaders. I had it uh, crash on me just a little bit ago, so let's uh, let the, the uh, shaders compile before we go any further. All right. Now let's uh, make sure everything's saved. Control S. No, 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 no. I don't want to do this. Stop the tutorial. The exit. Thank you. I don't know why it started. I only single clicked it. Let's go ahead and delete the tutorial. Okay, and let's. Uh, What's in this mesh? Let's go ahead and delete these. We don't need those. Um, we will save the folder because we'll have some meshes that we'll want to throw in there. Um, maps. Let's go ahead and rename this. Let's do uh, RTS test map. Okay. And what else do we got in here? We got the animations. We'll leave all those animations, blueprints. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and we've got the top down controller here in the top down game mode. We are going to create our own. So let's go ahead and. Yeah, you know what? We'll keep that. Um, we'll just go in and delete everything out of it. And the top down game mode. Yeah, we'll do the same thing. We'll save that as well. We'll save the top down character. We'll just rename everything. Uh, characters and meshes. We'll leave that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and go into the top-down controller. Open this up. Let's go ahead and throw it in there. Pretty much all this we're going to go ahead and delete. There's nothing in here that we want right now. So go ahead and select all of it and just hit delete. Of course, we didn't have to do that. That's in a function. We could have just came into here. Um, input action. Delete that event. Maybe. It'll let me. It won't let me delete it. Ah, that's why. Okay, let's go ahead. There we go. That'll work. Functions. Delete that. Leave the construction script. Okay, let's delete all that. Compile it. Save it. Let's go back out here. Let's rename this to. Naming conventions, if you're new to programming, are super important. Um, obviously, it has real no bearing on the game itself. But find your naming convention and how you like to do certain things and stick with it. Be consistent. It's going to make your programming experience a whole lot easier. Um, it could be something as simple as my underscore, I'm not going to do underscore, my controller. Okay, something as simple as that. That's all we need. So my controller and yeah, let's see. Is that a good enough name for it? That'll work for now. We may rename that a little bit later. Let's do only because we're going to have more than one controller. We're going to have some AI controllers and things like that. But we'll do my controller for now. We may change that a little bit later. We'll do my game mode. And if you notice here, if you're new to coding, I am camel casing. You'll see that a lot. Um, the original style of cam camel casing is typically the first letter is lowercase and then every word after that has a, a capital letter. Um, only time you deviate from that would be, um, there's certain instances in programming where you deviate from that, where you do this uh, top level type stuff. Um, but 
this is how I'm going to do all my variables and everything is I'm just going to camel case from beginning to end. It makes it a little bit easier. I don't really care for underscores. I will use them some, but uh, yeah. So we got my game mode. Let's go ahead and open that one up. We're going to default pawn class. We'll leave that there for now. We will create our own player controller class. That's my controller. Spectator class, we won't worry about that. Player state, let's create a player state and our game state because we will need custom ones of those. Right click in the content browser, select blueprint, and let's do, let's do all classes. Let's search for game state. There it is right there. Let's go ahead and click game state. Select it. Let's name it my game state. Control S. Let's do another one. Right click blueprint class and let's search for what was it? Game state, player state. That's right. Player state. Right there. Select that one. Select it. Let's do my player state. Real simple stuff. We don't need anything with those right at this point, but that's where they will be. Let's create another folder in here. Um, click that. Right click. New folder. Let's name it. Oh, I don't know. Game. BPs. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Game BPs. And in there, let's go into blueprints. Let's take all these, just try to keep things organized because it just make it a ton easier. We will leave my controller there, but just grab those three right there and drag and drop them into game BP. Move here. All right, let's go back in here. Game mode. Now we need to set this up. Game state player class is the my player state. Go into game state class. Select uh, the one we just created, my game state. Compile, save it. Now let's ensure, go ahead and close those out. We don't need those now. Let's go ahead and, and ensure everything is being used. Um, let's do project settings. Let's go ch -ch -ch, maps and modes. Uh, see our map is missing here. So we need to find our new map, which is the RTS test map. That's the game default map. And then the editor startup map, we've only got the one map, so let's go ahead and leave it there for that one. We need to default game mode. We need to set this to my game mode. And selected game mode, make sure that these are all set up. This should already pick up what we've set in the my game mode, but just open it up and double check. <clears throat> we won't, uh, at least for now, we won't need a custom HUD. Um, yeah, we won't need a custom hunt. This default pawn class, this will end up changing uh, when we build our uh, custom controller in the next one because, yeah, we won't be using that. That's going to be for AI instances. We will eventually probably end up needing a game instance class, but for now, we won't create it. Input, we don't really need any of these action mappings. Let's go ahead and delete that. Uh, move forward. Let's see, we could probably keep those. W, S, move right, D, A. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep those axis mappings. We just deleted the action mapping. And yeah, we got some other stuff in here that we need to set, but I think that's gonna be it for this one. That's all we needed to do. Everything should be set up, ready for us. So that way in our next, in our next episode, we will start building our custom controller. If you haven't seen uh, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial series, then go ahead and check out the last video. It's an introduction to kind of let you know what to expect in this tutorial series, as well as what you can expect from me in this tutorial series. And I kind of give you a brief look of, of what we're actually building in this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys are anxious. Next one, we will start some coding in our next one. So until then, peace.